Our journey takes us from Hokkaido's largest city, Sapporo, on the Hakodate Line, to Otaru on the coast, before heading inland through pastures and mountains to Oshamambe. More than a century ago, Hokkaido was a leading producer of coal, which was carried along this route to industrial areas, fueling Japan's economic development. The year-round cool climes are ideal for producing whiskey. Traditional distilling methods brought over from Scotland have earned this brand worldwide fame. While famous for winter sports, Niseko has much to offer in summer as well. One station building on the route doubles as a hotel. It is one of a handful of such accommodations in Japan. <laughs> Let's train crews through southern Hokkaido and relish the cooling summer breezes along one of Japan's earliest rail lines. Sapporo, the gateway to Hokkaido, was established around 150 years ago and has grown to become Japan's fifth largest city. Many buildings evoke the atmosphere of old, and the train line we ride today was laid during that era of development. Around 130,000 people and more than 600 trains use JR Sapporo Station daily, making it the island's largest station. This train originated at Nuchitosa Airport and is bound for Otaru, which drew about 2.66 million tourists in 2021, less than half pre-pandemic figures. The train is popular for both business and travel, and we have our seats in the reserved car. We zip through the suburbs of Sapporo, then cruise along the coast as we approach our first stop 30 kilometers away. No, 
その席もそうですねゆったりのんびり座りながらなんか行き先とかにこういろいろ想像したりしながら過ごせるのがすごい素敵だなって思います。こののどかな時間というか、うん、この時間も旅行の一つなんで、うん、こんな時間もいいなと思いますね15 minutes out of Sapporo the scenery shifts This is the only section of the 174 kilometer route to Oshamambe that boasts a view of the ocean. You can almost taste the fresh sea breeze. Once through the ticket gates, pause and look up. 333 lanterns adorn the windows on the platform. Otaru was once a thriving fishing town, which also produced glass buoys. The city went on to become famous for its glassworks. And these lanterns were made by a local workshop in 1987. Was shipped to mainland Japan, while the building materials necessary for Hokkaido's economic development arrived. Otaru evolved as Hokkaido's financial and economic center. With many banks opening branches, earning the city the moniker "the Wall Street of the North." The railroad boosted Otaru's prosperity. Its first tracks were laid here in the 1880s, where the Otaru Museum stands today. All 50 engines and carriages on display once worked throughout Hokkaido. The line. 
line which stretched from here to Sapporo opened in 1880, only eight years after the first trains began running in Japan. This engine imported from America was one of the first to run along the line. Its sleek, elegant body inspired its operators to christen it Shizuka, after a female historical figure. Coal, which was invaluable to Japan's industrial revolution, was discovered in Hokkaido, and its transport was the railway's prime mission. This pier, used for loading coal onto ships, towered over the water as high as a five-story building. The ships would berth along the pier, and the coal would drop through the chutes, which are folded up in this photo. At its peak, almost 5,000 tons of coal was shipped from Otaru every day. The museum also preserves a special part of Japanese railway history. The armored car was in operation until 2003. At the time, it would carry what would be around 9 billion US dollars per trip at today's exchange rate. Bank of Japan employees and police officers rode in the middle section throughout the journey, guarding the cash. This engine, called Iron Horse, was built in the U.S. in 1909. It makes a short 20-minute return trip on the museum grounds and is a hit with adults and children alike. Now, just one more place to visit before we leave Otaru.
Sankaku Market is a two-minute walk from Otaru Station. Sixteen shops sell seafood along both sides of the 200-meter-long arcade. The fresh seafood comes from around Hokkaido. Sea urchin is hauled in at Otaru and other fishing towns during the summer months, June through August. It is the taste of an Otaru summer. One restaurant here offers dishes using fresh sea urchin. This dish is popular among Japanese. They also serve other rice bowls topped with an assortment of fresh seafood. Even those who don't like sea urchin due to its tasting too much of the sea often change their minds after trying it in Hokkaido. Next, we head for the town of Yoichi. From Otaru, the railroad is a single, non-electrified track. Some 80% of Hokkaido's lines are non-electrified and operate with diesel engines. In 2020, this new train made its debut along these routes. The H100 series has diesel engines driving generators, which in turn power electric traction motors. Operating throughout Hokkaido, they are nicknamed DECMO, which stands for Diesel Electric Car with Motors. The Yoichi district has an average temperature of around 20 degrees Celsius in July and August, and is locally referred to as the Scotland of Japan. Dekmo rustles up a gentle breeze as it dashes along at its top speed of 100 kilometers per hour. A 
two to three minute walk brings us to a whiskey distillery built in 1934. The founder traveled to Scotland, the home of whiskey, to study distilling methods. After he returned, he visited various regions before deciding Yoichi was ideal for its cool climate, right amount of humidity, and abundance of spring water and coal. Since its founding, the company has strictly upheld the same traditions, using coal fires in the distilling process. With checks every 15 minutes, maintaining the right heat is time and labor intensive, but necessary to produce the distinct complex flavors. Yuichi's climate is suited to slowly aging the whiskey. Over time, the new make spirit matures in barrels, pulling in the wood's natural aroma and flavors. Whiskey distillers in Japan initially aimed to match Scottish quality, but Japanese whiskey is now known in its own right throughout the world. Visitors to the distillery are invited to sample the whiskies, which have won awards at international competitions. It's ま、まあ、90年余り、え、ずっと continue our journey, rolling through the farms and orchards of one of Hokkaido's leading agricultural areas. The railroad was once an invaluable mode of transport for the local residents, but ridership has fallen sharply with the increase in car ownership and decline in population along the route. Times are changing for this train line that once played a major role in Hokkaido's development. we now come to one of the toughest legs for the train. The steep slope of the Kuchan Pass climbs for about 10 kilometers, 
In fact, it is so steep that back in the day of steam locomotives, it took two engines to climb the mountain. This segment opened in 1904, when the gateway to Hokkaido was Hakodate, then the island's largest city. This railway connected it to the second largest city at the time, Otaru. Even the new Decmo engines only run at a speed of 50 kilometers per hour along this stretch of winding track. through the pass, and were greeted by Mount Yote. With a height of 1,898 meters, it bears a striking resemblance to Japan's tallest peak, Mount Fuji. Hence, it's affectionately known as Ezo Fuji, Ezo being the old name for Hokkaido. first glance, Hirafu Station is an ordinary rural station, but it draws railway fans from across Japan. It is one of just a handful of places in Japan where the station building itself doubles as guest accommodation. The station became unmanned in 1982, and six years later, JR Hokkaido leased the building as a guest house. <laughs> the room boasts the perfect view of the platform where the trains roll through. Another draw card is dinner by the platform itself. Not many trains pass through, but rail fans savor the novelty of enjoying a lamb barbecue with chilled refreshments while watching trains roll in. Minamitani Yoshitoshi, originally from Kyoto, is the guest house's second owner. That scene was etched in his memory, and years later he moved to Hokkaido. He eventually took over the guest house himself in 1996. <laughs> <laughs> 
、はい、初めてです。俺も初めてです。はい。いつから来たいと思ってましたし、いつも嫁さんと子供で三人で旅行で来てたんですけど、まあちょっと。ガ夏ディの5年前に亡くなっちゃったんですけれどもいないですけれどもまあ3人で旅行しているような感じでさっきヒルトン行きのバスだったからおおヒルトンだと思ってさ。Out of Hirafu Station, the train parallels a river. Shiribetsu River has the honor of being selected several times as Japan's most pristine river. Niseko is famous the world over for its powder snow. So the station was designed to resemble an alpine lodge. Some foreign residents have made Niseko their home year round, but few people abroad know that the area is also ideal for mountain hiking and cycling. Condominiums and hotels dot the area. One popular summer activity is rafting on the Shiribetsu River. Okay, so this is our boat, that's the front. And we hold the T grip, remember, like this. Like this, okay? Yeah, I think everyone's got it. What happens if we say move to the right? Yeah, move to the right, go, go, go! Go, 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 move to the right, sit down, sit down, watch your paddle. Good. Yeah, what's the paddle? Callum McWilliam, originally from Scotland, moved to Niseko in 2020 and acquired a rafting guide license. Good. So when we go back to our seats, with like small kids, taller people, strong people, you know, like everyone, everyone enjoys rafting, so it's、uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. The river's water level during the summer is quite low. While the air and water temperatures soar. Way there, way there, way there. Okay. Forward paddle, let's go. One, two. The cool river breezes offer a respite from the summer heat. The thrilling course takes about an hour. Can you see any rocks coming up? <laughs> here we go, here we go. <laughs> I, you know, really, really like Niseko because, you know, really nice people, like Japanese people and international people.、Um, you know, really nice food、um, that you don't get in Scotland. So. Yeah, like,、uh, and then this as well, nature in the summer is, is amazing. Yeah.
Niseko offers many hot springs to soothe aching muscles after a full-on day of activities. Locals discovered this hot spring when digging up a rice field. The carbonated waters improve blood circulation and assist in recovery from fatigue and exhaustion. This hot spring has a high sulfur content and is popular with women. The water is cloudy due to the mineral-rich mud at the bottom of the bath, which is believed to moisturize the skin and keep it beautiful. But sorry, gents, this bath is only for the ladies. destination, Oshamambe, around 80 kilometers and a one and a quarter hour ride from Niseko. The non-electrified section between Otaru and Oshamambe is said to cost 1,287 yen, around 10 US dollars to operate. But this generates a mere 100 yen, or 75 cents, in operating revenue. Hence, JR has made the tough decision to discontinue this section when the Hokkaido Shinkansen extends its operations to Sapporo in early 2031. Looking down, you'll notice the Oshamambe delicacy, crabs, dotting the platform where passengers wait for trains. Oshamambe is a crossroads for rail and vehicle traffic, and as you can imagine, many shops specialize in crab. This shop's bento has been a popular item since it was first introduced in 1950. Sorry. 
Grilled crab seasoned with salt and pepper is flaked and spread over a bed of steamed rice. Before the 1950s, crabs boiled in salted water were sold whole, wrapped in newspaper. But once crabbing season was restricted, this ekiben, or station bento, was concocted to allow visitors to enjoy the local delicacy year-round. And you don't have to ride a train to enjoy your ekiben. The shop remodeled the adjacent room into a passenger compartment in 2017, using authentic train seats. Even customers who arrive by car can savor the joy of train travel as they eat. Our trip from Sapporo has covered 174 kilometers. Once the Shinkansen is running, the current four-hour journey to Sapporo will only take about 40 minutes, dropping the curtain on 120 years of railway history between here and Otaru. Breezes of change are blowing through southern Hokkaido.